Hey everyone, so today's uh, video is going to be how to do a Cebu blowout. Um, I was provided with these products from Cebu um, to teach you guys how to get a salon style blowout at home without having to pay the price to go get it done. And it's also a hair treatment. So if you have, like the treatment I did is a Geisha Delicious treatment. And what it is, it's for um, color protecting, like for color treated hair. It helps to heal what the process of coloring your hair is done. Um, I actually got a little worksheet that I'm allowed to have as my cheat sheet that um, Jen from Cebu17 provided me and I get to be y'all's cheat sheet so love how that works. Um, so I'm going to go show you step by step on how to get your hair from showering, from like what products to use, all that kind of stuff. I will be below, the Cebu International site will be below and so will um, a promotion code to get 17% off any Cebu, Cebu items that you buy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start. Alright, so the first thing you'll need is a bowl, a spoon, and you're going to need your treatments. You're going to need the Geisha Licious treatment, your C Boost, or whatever other um, back bar treatment you're going to be using. Um, and I brought scissors with just in case. You bend here and tear. Really easy. And you're just going to put all the product in the bowl, the C Boost. And then you're going to do the same thing with your treatment. Again, mine is the Geisha Licious. This is for color treated hair. And you're going to pour that in the bowl as well. Get as much out as you possibly can. All right. And then you're just going to take your spoon and you're going to mix both the treatments together so it makes just one treatment. You're able to put this all over your hair. Um, oh, this smells so good. <laughs> I love the way TV smells. Just going to mix it up till everything's connected together. Show y'all. So it looks like a normal like conditioner consistency. It's nice. Just like that. See how pretty that is? Love that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to use my Geisha Licious, there it is, um, shampoo. And then I'm going to put this on my hair um, while I'm in the shower and let it sit for five to seven minutes. Probably just a five minute mark since my hair is so short now. Um, so that's all you need to do for step one when I come back. You'll see my face, I'll be sitting in a chair, and we'll be ready to go on with the rest of the Cebu blowout. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, so I already sprayed my um, Argan Oil Hair Mist. Uh, they, You also can use the H and Serum, it's the same thing, this is just a different um, kind, this is like a sample. So I sprayed this when my hair was already wet, it was still really, really damp. Um, so I did about three sprays just all over my head and I let it sink in and then I used a wide tooth comb and I brushed it through and then I am um, a really big fan of letting my hair air dry or towel dry for a while and then I go ahead and do the other steps I just don't like to full-blown blow dry my hair for that long of a period of time just because I'm lazy and I don't want to do that so I usually get up earlier than I should just so my hair can air dry um so the next step is for me to use Oso Shimmer, this is a smoothing solution. Um, if you have coarse or curly hair and you're also doing this um, exact treatment, go ahead and use your Shashini, which is a thermal spray. Um, I don't need to do that because my hair isn't um, coarse or curly. It's, it's just how this is. <laughs> so what you need to do is to take a dime or nickel size. I'm going to take a dime because my hair is short, but if you have longer hair than myself, um, go ahead and use a nickel size. So I'm going to do about that, and then you're just going to take it into your hands, and I like to put it through my fingers, and then you start from the bottom back like this, and then you just start to crawl yourself up, Go, and it says to concentrate on the mid shaft, which is like this part of your hair, and down, because that's where a lot of the damage is, and if you bring too much of this product up, it will weigh your hair down, so whatever's left... I just go ahead and put it through the rest of my hair, just like this, making sure everything's through, it's off my hands, really concentrating on these ends to help those guys out. And then we'll go on with the next step. 
Alright, so the first step of the actual styling blow drying part, this is after you've already blow dried your hair to get a lot of the moisture out, you've added your clips in to set your hair to get ready to blow dry, you want to take another step. Now this is going to help prevent frizz and it's going to get a lot of the moisture out that doesn't really need to be in there anymore. You just want to get it out without having to have this big old frizz ball starting to happen. Um, what you do is you, with your fingers, you pull your hair taut and you're going to blow dry it down. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys how to do that if it lets me, so because the editing system I'm using doesn't really like cut and paste. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try to show you guys that and mute out the sound if I'm able to. If not, I'll just show you without blow drying. You go like this and then you blow dry down. Now your main focus for doing it for that reason is to get your roots dry. Um, so you just want to do that to your whole head if you have the time. Really try to focus on the top if you don't and try to get your roots nice and nice and dry. I'm going to go ahead and finish that up off camera and then I'm going to go ahead and start round brushing so you guys can see how to also do that. Alright, so the next step in blow drying, which is the last step that you have, um, you're going to go ahead and clip your hair back up. My roots are dry but my ends aren't because the finger taunt finger pull is just to really get at those roots which I have never done before like I never really noticed that my the people that are styling my hair actually do that until like I read the sheet that Jen gave me I was like oh. so now I'm probably gonna do it because yeah it's one more step in blow drying but I think it's gonna go a lot quicker because I could just do this whole side and like do the roots pull and everything and then just bring my brush through wish I would have figured that out. <laughs> um, so the next step is to actually use your round brush any size. Um, it depends on your hair. We have this one or if you have like a lot longer hair you can use this mama. I got this one at Walmart. Um, so whatever round brush you like to use. I like this one because you can see it has vents through so it's not just keeping all of the heat in one contained area. It's something to go all the way through the hair all the way through the brush. So that's why I like ones that are like this. Alright, so one little thing I want to show you to actually do the top part of my hair. Um, I've done this for a good like six years now. Um, I actually learned it when I worked at a hair salon as um, a salon coordinator. Um, what you do is you're going to take your round brush and you're going to blow dry it. Like you're going to blow dry your hair. And I'm going to do it without the blow dryer and then I'll show you all how cute I look when I walk around for a little bit. Um, you blow dry your hair and then you do the same thing you did on the bottom. You let it go ahead and curl in and everything, and I just keep these here because it allows it to like pull up some volume, and I let it cool down by itself. And I do this the entire top part of my head, and I use this Big Mama for the back for my crown. That way, I get a lot more volume than I really would with just blow drying. And I like to blow dry it up. You sink down. I like to blow dry it up, and then I bring this down. That way that just sits there and it has the time for this volume to really, really stick in right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and um, let it sit for a little bit. Like I only let it sit for like two minutes or so. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I bring everything down. Alright, final product. Love it. I did the front part to go back a little bit and then so there's just a little bit of texture going on. Um, the back is also nice and cute as well. I'm going to get my hair cut like even shorter as soon as I can. Um, now I know I have questions if you don't have like a million round brushes like me because I'm a brush collector. I'm like one of those people. These are little Velcro clips. Uh, little Velcro clips. Little Velcro rollers. Go ahead and put these in your hair and then blow dry so it gets a, like a nice heat going on in there. And then let it cool down do the finishing spray and it should do almost the same exact thing it's not as big as a brush but you could get like a six pack of these for $1.99 at Ulta probably cheaper at Sally's um, just in case you don't have a million brushes that's another step you guys can use um, put those away now I love this like I'm not gonna flat iron it or anything I'm done for the day of my hair and see I love that with the faux finish you can just run your fingers through and you don't have to worry about it. I've already sprayed that in. I love it. Um, that's this guy that I showed earlier. Love her. Or guy. I don't know. I call things guys too. Now I do have one little problem. I have this bag full of goodies. And it's just sitting here. And I have spring roll. Just sitting here. And it wants a home. 
So I guess that I'm going to have to give it to one of y'all. And I guess we're going to have to do a giveaway on Monday. Yeah. So if you guys want to know how to win this and everything, if you want to have a chance to win that actually, um, go ahead and watch my giveaway video that's going to be on Monday. I'm giving y'all, for the people that actually are religiously watching my videos that I love and you're just so faithful to me, you'll know ahead of time and you can get yourself ready. Um, it's going to be really easy, it's just a giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to do a salon style blowout. Um, I had fun. I, I even learned stuff today too. So. Love that. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Monday with the giveaway. Bye, everyone.